many of these Soviet track men. Very, very world famous. Uh, amazing dogs. I think one of the things I admire most about Sylvia is her relationship with her dogs. She loves her dogs far more than any sport in the shows when she's with them with her dogs. So, you know, I know a lot of you may have already taken Sylvia's online courses, and uh, so she's no stranger to any of you out there. Two gold medals in individual, is that correct? Uh, yes. And, and team? Also a couple, and let's do a third. And done. then European Open, you've done extremely well there. So, so many gold medals for her. <laughs> so, the number one question I want to ask you is, if somebody watching this video is thinking, I would like to be at the World Championships, what would you think is the most important thing that they need to keep in mind? Well, as you noticed, I'm not counting the medals for World Championships. And for the same reason, I think it's actually the most important to um, don't be too focused on getting to World Championships or making that result. I think it's better to focus on uh, having fun for building the relationship, to building the skills you need. But, um, well, you should just take the dog you have and get the best out of it. I never thought that Bu uh, will win um, European Open ever because right. she was so scared and not a confident dog, has no accelerations. But she did, and so, um, yeah. But we never had that as our goal. Right. Our goal was just to yeah, get the best out of that dog. So, if they have fun with the dog, and they, there's got to be a difference now. I have fun with my dog, and I love my dog, and I do all the skills. What makes the difference between running and being a world champion and running and not Well, as I said, not every dog is able to be a world champion. I mean, they need to have the structure, they need to have the um, the natural speed. I mean, I started in agility with a Samuit, and he never won more championships, but he did really good for, for a Samuit. <laughs> so, um, this, and of course you have, yeah, many very talented border bullies who could win and they will never win, but it's mostly, I think, it's very often because people are too focused on winning. They I want it, <laughs> they want it too badly, and then, um, then it's harder. It's much easier to run without the pressure if you just come here to have fun and to see what the courses will be. And if you don't manage, you just say, oh, a new challenge, I need to train somewhere, maybe next year, maybe not, maybe never, but it's okay. So as far as, you know, you have a lot of personal success. If you look at Slovenia as a country, in all the countries in the world that do agility, how brilliant they are, how do you think your country rates compared to some of the other ones? I think it's pretty brilliant because it's so small. We have like 200 people in the whole country doing any kind of agility. So, <laughs> so it's just 200 people and I think the average level is really very high because we did really well in teams too and in general they are always placing very high and considering that we don't have many people to choose from. I think um, I really like um, And do you think it's something in the water in Slovenia? <laughs> Is that the reason for it? Or there another reason? <laughs> yeah, I think it helps that, yeah, it's small, so I see everybody on the weekend. I think that's a big part. <laughs> okay, last question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rank me? Is my ability to run fast? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you. Perfect.